Unicorn One here. Welcome to my channel. New project. Cyberdeck router. Clockwork. New console. Let's roll. We'll build a powerful, feature-packed mobile VPN router. From a hardware perspective, it's pretty simple. We have our U console where the CM4's built-in Wi-Fi on WLAN 0 creates our access point, and we're using an alpha Wi-Fi adapter on WLAN 1 for the WAN connection. That's our mobile hotspot for internet. And we did opt to use a small micro stub antenna in place of the included tape strip. You can find more about that in the links included in the description. It's been working so well that we've actually integrated it into our iOS development workflow. More on that later, possibly in an upcoming episode. I promise you won't want to miss out. So if you're interested in these topics and want to stay in the loop, be sure and click the subscribe button now. And just a quick note, this tutorial assumes you have a VPS, preferably with WireGuard already configured. If you need help with that first, check the link to our GitHub repo in the description. It has everything you need. And if you still have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Just to let you know, if you're in the market for a U console, I included a link here on the README in our GitHub repo where you can find one from the official Clockwork Pi website. Now, these tend to be a little hard to get, so I got mine from eBay because I didn't want to wait. I don't know, but I think they take orders until they have enough to do uh, a batch. So they can be hard to get. Uh, they're so popular. So you might want to check eBay. Or if you're willing to wait, go ahead and just buy one right from Clockwork. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to navigate to the URL for the repo here. And that's in the link below in the, in the description. And that's going to be to the repo that we've created. Um, that gives you all the information, all the files, everything you, you will need to build this router using your U console. So if you'll scroll down, we have this is the U console Cyberdeck router with WireGuard VPN. And we called it Cyberdeck because we created a script. Here's a, a screenshot of it um, through an SSH window. You saw it in the opening sequence displayed directly on the device. Well, it also runs in an SSH window, and that's pretty cool. So you can do that too. Now, the overview of this project provides a complete configuration to turn your U console Raspberry Pi into a feature rich router that handles all traffic through a split tunnel WireGuard VPN with advanced QoS. Traffic shaping and network optimization tweak. Network architecture traffic enters through an alpha AWS 036 ACS interface, passes through WireGuard VPN, and exits securely via remote VPS. Our internal WLAN 0. Is our AP provides a local access point for connected devices while Cake QoS BBR TCP congestion control and our custom throttling script maximize throughput and prevent ISP side rate limiting. Firewall D handles NAT and network security, and Avahi MDNS provides seamless zero configuration device discovery. Hardware. 3D printed, uh, the optional stub antenna. Um, you can use the stock tape strip antenna if you like, and that'll work fine. Now, in the README, if you scroll down, and I won't, you know, go into all this. It, it, I've already discussed it. Um, we have it a little bit um, more in detail. So, and we, we mentioned 3D parts, tail scale, I, I can't recommend it enough, um, get it, <laughs> the reason, look, I just open a, a, a terminal window, and I'm SSH into the device, you know, I can type commands on my Mac, um, maybe you're using PC, I like Mac, um, anyway, 
you if you were on PC, you might use PowerShell or something. Um, but I just have a regular terminal window here, uh, and I'm SSH into the Kali. Uh, yes, Kali. You'll notice that I have Kali installed on my U console. Um, you can use the regular um, Raspberry Pi bookworm, and now Trixie just became available, um, if you like. Uh, I'm using Kali because there's actually a lot of diagnostics that are available in the, in the package, and it's just really stable, and um, I just like it, so, you know, that, and that's available. There's also links to that, so you can uh, install that as well, if you like, on your U console. All right, now, so back to the readme. If you scroll down, there's a quick start here. And you basically just copy this and paste it. Just like that. So very easy. Um, I set it up so it's really probably one of the easiest tutorials that you might find um, because everything is going to be copy paste. If you want to manually type on your device, if you um, for any reason cannot set up a, an SSH window into your U console, okay, that's fine. Um, I just like to do it this way because. It just, life is so much easier. So, now I'm going to go ahead and control C out of that rather than hit enter because I have these, these um, packages already installed. Now, what I'll do is I'll just skip down here and go right to the complete setup. Okay, and now you'll see right here, I have the same packages. So, if I copy that, and paste there it is and this is the same as this but i don't have the git clone so what i can do is just show you that if i hit enter it's gonna do do apt update um and then i already have all these installed so it's just gonna basically tell me that i already have the latest versions now the one package that can be upgraded I have held um, and in fact I can show you that and that the reason is is because um, if I do apt list upgradable DHCPCD um, it's held because we have system D uh, and network manager running things so we don't we don't need that um and in fact if i do up sudo apt full upgrade it won't upgrade there you see so that's the way we have our our system set up Okay, so if I clear that out. Now, you've installed the packages. Next, there's a couple of ways you can do this. We have a lot of files. If you look over here, we have configs and then we have server configs. Now, configs is going to be for our router and then server configs will be on the VPS side. So you'll have two setups. Um, you can, if you like, manually copy all of these files um, with like sudo nano or you can sudo t with the end of file as we've got here and it will just interject add them in it'll create the file if it doesn't exist if it does exist it'll add just what you need here um, now there are some places where you may need to put 
specific information, um, which is going to be your, you're going to have to name your router. And you're also going to need a UUID. So I have in docs UUID generation. And that's going to tell you exactly how to generate your UUID. Explains what it is. Here you can see. And then how you can add it. Okay. Why it must be unique. UUIDs must be unique. Network Manager uses UUIDs to uniquely identify connection profiles. Duplicate UUIDs can cause conflict and unpredictable behavior, including failed connections or profile corruption. Each system must generate its own UUIDs to maintain reliable network management. Example UUIDs shown in any guide should always be replaced with new, freshly generated UUIDs. Okay, so you understand that? So, you'll find all this right here. Now, we can go back to the... Oh, and let me show you one other thing. Whoop. Here, WireGuard keys. You're going to need wire... You're going to need to generate your own keys. Okay. So, where we have something that says um, your private key and your public key, the is for that. Okay, and... The commands to generate those keys, they're all right here. So everything that you need. So if we go back to the router complete setup, we've installed the packages. So we could take this first file here, copy or command, and then we paste. Now I'm not going to hit enter because I have it um, at this point so I'm just going to control C out of there but that shows you how easy it is then you would go to the next you would hit enter after that if you didn't have it already configured as I do then you would paste the next one and you would hit enter again I'm just going to control C to exit so that I don't what I already have and you just continue that down um, and anywhere that you'll see there'll be a note if it's something that you need to adjust and here we see that where you and I and I note that uh, put notation that you need to replace your new UUID with your UUID and replace your Wi-Fi AP password with your access point password. Okay, so that's your U new UUID and your Wi-Fi password. So you'll copy this and you'll paste it like that. But before you actually hit enter, you'll use your arrow keys and you'll go up here and you'll change your password to something like, um, I don't know, don't make it Spider-Man because everybody knows that. <laughs> oh, and, and don't forget don't uh, take out the equals you need that okay so you know um so yeah oh <laughs> did i just hit enter oh my goodness i did let me let me uh cat actually let me pseudo nano <laughs> in in here pseudo Nano. Um, this is going to be my main connection file, which I have copied so I can put it back. But then I'll uh, and see, did I change anything? Oh, I did. 
Okay, so I'm going to not show you. <laughs> I see what I did. Um, I didn't. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to fix this. I'm going to um, whoop, come down here. And then I'm going to not show you the password that I type and fix this and I'll come back in a minute. We're back and uh, just going to show you now um, after a reboot to check that I fixed that. Uh, we SSH in and oh we need to authenticate well okay so that's gonna here and we're just gonna sign in with github and then we're gonna authorize success here where we were and you'll see that we are logged back in yay Okay, um, so yeah, you can just do uh, a pseudo T, or if you want to pseudo nano, you would just do pseudo nano, and then et cetera, network manager, system connections, RPI, dash CM4 dot NM connection. Um, I'm going to control C because I don't want to show you my secret key if I nano in. Um, now, you can go over here if you want to the configs. Okay, and let's find that file. Here it is. And now we can go and look. And this is the actual file here. So, if anything goes wrong, you have the, these are the actual files. And you can just sudo nano copy this just everything that you see you don't have to put um this up here that's commented out i like to keep the top line because that's notation to the location of the file so that you'll always have it in the correct location um the other is an example always replace c docs y you can leave that if you want um it's helpful or or not um this is the important part. This is not commented out. That's going to uh, in the router. And as I said before, you're going to replace the entire field here with your own unique UUID. And you're going to replace this entire field with your password. Now, this isn't the password from your your hotspot, say your mobile device, um, or wherever you're, you're getting your internet to begin with. This is the password for your router that your devices that will connect to the router will use. Okay, so you understand that. All right, so back to the router setup, and you go on down, and you'll have another file, and you could copy that, and go back, and here, let me clear this. and paste that. And this time I am going to hit control C <laughs> in advance so I don't goof up and ha have to go and fix it again. Um, so you'll have this, okay? And the next one and so forth. So every file in this copy to shows you the, the file name and the location the, the f complete file path is shown. So if you've done anything like this, you'll understand and you'll see it's all really straightforward and laid out um, for Raspberry Pi. It's, you know, it doesn't get any better. So, well, it can always get better, but we tried to, to do, do lay the groundwork to make it, uh, to follow everything that we've done. And maybe you'll add something of your own. Um, and if you do, we'd appreciate that you, you know, uh, put that in the comments or, or leave a remark on the repo or something, um, you know, because it all builds. So, all right. So thanks. We'll see you in the next one.